Mindanao, the second largest island in the Philippines, is a destination that offers a unique cultural experience and natural beauty. The island boasts stunning landscapes, from the lush forests and majestic mountains, to the pristine beaches and coral reefs. It is home to diverse ethnic groups, each with its own traditions and way of life, making it a melting pot of cultures. Visitors can immerse themselves in Mindanao's rich history and heritage by visiting historical sites, trying local delicacies, and participating in cultural festivals. In this video, we will talk about the 24 must-visit tourist spots in Mindanao, Philippines. So before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You may also want to click the bell icon to get notified when we upload new travel videos like this. The video will be amazing so make sure to stick till the end. Is it safe to travel to Mindanao? While certain areas of Mindanao have been affected by conflict and terrorism, many parts of the island are considered safe and welcoming for tourists. It is essential to research and plan before traveling to Mindanao and to stay informed of any travel advisories or updates on the security situation. As with any travel destination, it is also advisable to exercise caution and take necessary precautions to ensure personal safety. There are many tourist spots in Mindanao worth visiting. Here are some of them. Philippine Eagle Center, Davao City. The Philippine Eagle Center is a popular tourist destination in Davao City, where visitors can observe the critically endangered Philippine Eagle up close. The center serves as a conservation facility dedicated to protecting and breeding Philippine Eagles, known for their impressive size and unique appearance. Visitors can watch the eagles as they fly and interact in large enclosures designed to mimic their natural habitat while learning about the conservation efforts to preserve this iconic species. The center also offers educational tours and programs that provide insights into the ecology and importance of the Philippine eagle in the country's ecosystem. Aliwagwag Falls Eco Park, Davao Oriental Aliwagwag Falls Eco Park, located in Katil, Davao Oriental, is a stunning natural wonder and a must-visit tourist spot in Mindanao. The Eco Park boasts of the famous Aliwagwag Falls, considered one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the Philippines, with its unique cascading tiers and crystal clear waters. Visitors can enjoy the picturesque view of the falls, while also learning about the area's rich biodiversity and cultural heritage. The park also serves as a conservation area for endangered species, including the Philippine eagle and the Philippine tarsier. Maria Cristina Falls, Iligan. Maria Cristina Falls is a majestic waterfall located in Iligan City. It is considered one of the most impressive waterfalls in the Philippines. The falls are fed by the Agus River and have a height of around 98 meters with a powerful and thundering flow of water Visitors can enjoy a panoramic view of the falls from a viewing deck and take a boat ride on the river to get closer to the base of the falls. Maria Cristina Falls is also a source of hydroelectric power for the region, and visitors can learn about the history and technology of the power plant that harnesses its energy. Samal Island Samal Island is a paradise destination off the coast of Davao City, known for its crystal clear waters, white sand beaches, and lush tropical forests. The island offers a range of activities for visitors, from swimming and sunbathing on its beaches to snorkeling and diving in its coral reefs. Visitors can also explore the island's natural beauty through trekking and hiking, with trails that lead to scenic spots such as Hagamit Falls and Mount Puting Bato. The island is also home to various wildlife, including monkeys, bats and sea turtles. Pink Beach, also known as Santa Cruz Island, is a unique and picturesque beach in Zamboanga City. What sets this beach apart is its pinkish sand, which results from crushed red corals mixed with the white sand. The beach is also surrounded by crystal clear waters and has a vibrant marine ecosystem, making it an ideal destination for swimming, snorkeling and diving. The beach is only accessible by boat and is a protected area with strict regulations to ensure its preservation. Onse Islas, Zamboanga. Onse Islas is an ecotourism destination in Zamboanga City, which comprises 11 small and stunning islands located at the entrance of the Zamboanga Peninsula. Visitors can explore many white sand beaches and rich marine life through boat tours, snorkeling, and island hopping. The islands are also home to a diverse range of wildlife, including rare bird species, making it an ideal destination for bird watching and nature photography. Visitors can also immerse themselves in the local culture by learning about the island's community's traditional fishing techniques and handicrafts. 
Eden Nature Park, Davao. Eden Nature Park is a scenic mountain resort located in Toral, Davao City, that offers a relaxing and peaceful escape from the city. The park boasts a lush and verdant landscape with various flora and fauna, making it an ideal destination for nature lovers and bird watchers. Visitors can enjoy a range of activities, such as hiking, zip lining, and horseback riding, while also savoring the fresh mountain air and panoramic views of Davao City. The resort also features amenities such as restaurants, accommodations, and event venues, making it a popular destination for family outings, corporate retreats, and weddings. Dahican Beach, Davao Oriental. Dahican Beach is a beautiful and pristine beach in Mati City, Davao Oriental. The beach boasts a long stretch of fine white sand, crystal clear waters, and gentle waves, making it an ideal destination for swimming, sunbathing, and surfing. The beach is also known for its abundant marine life, and visitors can often spot sea turtles, dolphins, and whales in the waters. The beach is also a popular destination for water sports, such as skimboarding and windsurfing, and visitors can rent equipment from local operators. Dinagat Islands Dinagat Islands is a group of islands located off the coast of Surigao del Norte in the Caraga region. The islands offer a range of activities for visitors, from swimming, snorkeling, and diving in its clear blue waters, to hiking and exploring its lush tropical forests. The islands are also home to various flora and fauna, including rare and endemic species, making it an ideal destination for nature lovers and wildlife enthusiasts. Visitors can also immerse themselves in the local culture by visiting the historic towns and heritage sites and experiencing the local cuisine and traditional practices. Panampangan Island, Tawi Tawi. Panampangan Island is a breathtaking and secluded island in Tawi Tawi, known for its white sand beaches, crystal clear waters, and vibrant marine life. The island offers visitors a tranquil and peaceful escape with opportunities for swimming, snorkeling, and diving in its pristine waters. The island is also home to a diverse range of marine species, including sea turtles, reef sharks, and colorful fish, making it an ideal destination for underwater enthusiasts. Bud Bongao, Tawi Tawi. Bud Bongao, also known as Mount Bongao, is a sacred mountain in Tawi Tawi, known for its natural beauty and spiritual significance. Visitors can hike up the mountain, which stands 342 meters tall, and enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding landscapes, including the neighboring islands and sea. The mountain is also home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including endemic bird species, making it an ideal destination for birdwatching and nature photography. The mountain is considered a sacred site by the locals. Visitors can also learn about the local culture and traditions associated with the mountain such as the offering of prayers and sacrifices to the spirits believed to reside in the mountain. White Island, Camiguin. White Island is a stunning sandbar off the coast of Camiguin Island, known for its crystal clear waters and powdery white sand. The island offers visitors a breathtaking view of the surrounding landscapes, including the towering Mount Hybok Hybok and the turquoise waters of the Bohol Sea. Visitors can enjoy swimming, sunbathing, and snorkeling in the island's waters, which are home to a diverse range of marine life, including colorful fish and coral formations. The island is accessible via a short boat ride from the town of Mambajau, and visitors can rent umbrellas and beach chairs for a relaxing day at the beach. Sunken Cemetery, Camiguin. The Sunken Cemetery is a unique and historic landmark on the island of Camiguin known for its submerged gravestones beneath the waters of the Bohol Sea. The cemetery was originally built in the 18th century, but was later submerged after the eruption of Mount Vulcan in 1871. Today, visitors can take a boat ride to the site and view the gravestones that can be seen during low tide, or go snorkeling and diving to see the entire submerged cemetery. The site offers a fascinating glimpse into the island's history and cultural heritage, and is also a popular spot for photography, with its unique beauty. Magpapunko Rock Pools, Siagao. Magpapunko Rock Pools is a natural wonder located on the island of Siagao, known for its crystal clear rock pools formed by the tides of the Pacific Ocean. The rock pools are surrounded by towering limestone cliffs and offer visitors a stunning view of the turquoise waters of the Pacific. Visitors can swim, snorkel, and explore the rock pools, home to a diverse range of marine life, including colorful fish and sea urchins. During low tide, 
visitors can also walk along the exposed reef and explore the tidal pools. Cloud 9, Siagao. Cloud 9 is a world-renowned surf spot located on the island of Siagao, known for its massive waves and challenging surf breaks. The spot has hosted several international surfing competitions and attracts surfers from all over the world who come to test their skills against the powerful waves. The waves at Cloud 9 are best during the peak surfing season from August to November, when the swells are the biggest. The site also offers a breathtaking view of the surrounding landscapes, including the turquoise waters of the Pacific and the lush greenery of the island. Visitors can also enjoy a range of activities, such as kayaking and paddleboarding, or simply relax and take in the idyllic atmosphere of the island. Tinuian Falls, Surigao del Sur Tinuian Falls is a magnificent waterfall in Bislig, Surigao del Sur. With a height of 55 meters and a width of 95 meters, it is considered one of the widest waterfalls in the country. The falls feature three cascades that create a stunning curtain of water, surrounded by lush greenery and natural rock formations. Visitors can enjoy swimming in the cool waters, trekking to the top of the falls, or simply taking in the breathtaking view from the viewing deck. Enchanted River, Surigao del Sur. Enchanted River is a mystical and enchanting river located in Hinatuan, Surigao del Sur. With its clear blue-green waters and underwater cave systems, it is known as one of the most beautiful rivers in the world. The river is also home to various fish, including large schools of jackfish that swim together in unison. Visitors can enjoy swimming and snorkeling in the river and watching the daily fish feeding ritual, where the fish are fed by the caretakers and put on a dazzling display. Grand Mosque, Cotabato City the Grand Mosque, also known as the Sultan Haji Hassan al Bolkiah Masjid, is a stunningly beautiful mosque in Cotabato City. It is considered as the largest mosque in the country and one of the most impressive in Southeast Asia. The mosque's architecture is inspired by the Islamic design of the Middle East, with its white domes and towering minarets. The mosque's interior is equally impressive featuring intricate patterns and designs and a large prayer hall that can accommodate up to 15,000 worshippers. The Grand Mosque is not only a religious landmark, but also a cultural and architectural gem that showcases the Islamic heritage of the Philippines. Whitewater Rafting, Cagayan de Oro Whitewater rafting in Cagayan de Oro is an adrenaline-pumping adventure that offers thrill-seekers a chance to experience the rapids of the Cagayan de Oro River. The river is known for its challenging rapids, ranging from Class 2 to Class 4, which provide a heart-stopping ride for rafters. The rafting experience is made even more memorable by the stunning scenery of the surrounding hills and forests, as well as the chance to jump off cliffs, swim in the river, and navigate through natural obstacles. Lake Cebu, South Cotabato Lake Cebu is a natural lake located in the municipality of Lake Cebu, South Cotabato, within the Ala Valley region. The Philippine government has recognized it as one of the country's most important watersheds. Lake Cebu is one of the many bodies of water supplying important irrigation to the provinces of Sultan Kudarat and South Cotabato. The villages around the lake have been turned into an independent municipality called Lake Cebu after being a former village of Surala. Lake Holon, South Cotabato. Lake Holon is a picturesque lake and totally different from other lakes you might have visited. It is eerily quiet but the kind you appreciate because it's not every day you experience something unique. It is in a secluded area where you can be one with nature. Government officials even confirmed that the Philippine Tarsia, Tarsia Sirikta, was spotted in the barangays near the lake. Asik Asik Falls, North Cotabato. Asik Asik Falls is a stunningly beautiful waterfall in Alamada, North Cotabato. It is a relatively new attraction, having been discovered only in 2012, and quickly gained popularity due to its unique appearance. Unlike most waterfalls, Asik Asik Falls is not a single stream of water falling from a cliff, but a series of water sprouts that emerge from the rock face of a lush cliff, creating a mesmerizing curtain of water that falls into a natural pool below. The falls are surrounded by lush vegetation, providing visitors a picturesque and serene atmosphere. Asik Asik Falls is a hidden gem of North Cotabato, offering a breathtakingly beautiful sight that will leave a lasting impression on anyone who visits. Malamawi Island, Basilan 
Malamawi is a small and secluded island in the province of Basilan. The island has a long stretch of white sandy beach on its northern coast, with crystal blue water and breathtaking scenery. To attract more visitors, the local government built toilets and cottages that can be used by visiting tourists. Gumasa Beach in Glan Sarangani Gumasa Beach is a stunningly beautiful beach located in Glan Sarangani. The beach boasts of powdery white sand and a picturesque view of Sarangani Bay. Visitors can enjoy a range of activities such as swimming, sunbathing, beach volleyball, and snorkeling in the pristine waters. The beach is also a popular spot for beach camping, with several resorts and accommodations available for visitors who wish to stay overnight. Mindanao is a large and diverse island in the Philippines that offers visitors a unique and rich cultural experience. From the stunning natural landscapes such as the towering Mount Apo and the pristine beaches of Siargao, to the vibrant and colorful local festivals like the Kadayawan Festival in Davao City, Mindanao has a lot to offer. Additionally, the island is home to various ethnic groups, each with its own distinct customs, traditions and cuisine, providing a fascinating insight into the cultural diversity of the Philippines. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new travel videos. Let's meet again soon for another interesting destination. Stay safe and happy, and thanks for watching.